Today we are going to do some magic. Oh, almost then he sent me a message. And he said, don't put me my name in the screen. Hmm. I said, okay. I said, what the question? He said, promise me first, then I will not, uh, uh, the, you know, I will give you the question. And he hit me with the question. He said, you are lying about the prophet being bewitched. Hmm. And I wonder like what I would do now. I mean, that's it. He said I'm lying. I don't know if he's here. He should be. Move your finger if you are there. Don't worry, we will not do voodoo for you. And the funny he said voodoo is a lie. Magic is a lie. Okay, I agree with you. Osama Abdullah once he came to me and he debated me supposedly and he said Christian Prince <laughs> magic is proven to be scientifically false. <laughs> uh, and then I showed him a verse from the Quran. So let us go to the Quran. The first thing he said that magic is a lie. Obviously those Muhammad Muhammadan and by the way this is why I changed the topic. I was going to talk about something else. But this guy, he sent me this message, and he made a challenge. Remember you said, magic is a lie. And you are convinced. So if somebody says, magic is true, that's when he's a liar. You know, in the, in the Bible, it says that the magic of Moses has overcome the magic of those false ones. But this is not really magic. In the Bible, speak about a miracle. God, he did a miracle. This is not magic. But for them, it was a magic. Like, what he's doing? Is that a trick or something? But Moses was not doing magic. He was doing something real. If we go in the Quran, chapter 20, sorry, chapter 2, verse 102, you will see that your God, Allah, he opened a school of Holy Potter. <laughs> And exactly the same as the Lord of the Ring. There was a tower. It's called the Tower of the Babylon. In the Tower of Babylon. Harut sat down. Marut came to. And they did the barbecue. Oh, I need to make it for that. In the, in the Tower of Babylon. Angels came down, Harut was there, and Marut came after. In the town of Babylon, where we sat down, Allah opened school to teach a man a magic. I mean, it's in the Quran. Are you going to say to me now the Quran is a lie, it's weak, it's uh, shish kebab, it's from, what's wrong with the, you know? So, it's a lie. Remember, if you, if you want to leave, if you are brave enough, you should call me immediately and say, I don't want to go leave Islam because I just told you that magic is a lie. And your God, he opened a school, sent two angels to open a holy reporter school. And what the purpose of this? Look at this. Hmm. Why they are opening the school? Translation: Hilali and Khan. Hilali is better. Hilali. I mean, Hilali. I know his cousin. You know the uh, drug dealer. Hmm. So, brother, it says here, the angels before they teach you in the school, you have to sign a disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer. Before you start the class, you have to understand we are only a trial. 
So disbelieve not, but learning magic from us and from these angels, people learn by which they cause separation between the one man and the wife. If, 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 if. So my, my neighbor, he was fighting with his wife because of the root and root of Allah. So Allah, he opened a school. And the purpose of this school is to make family literally destroyed. The kids will have fun. I mean, when they see their parents fighting and getting divorced. And who is happy? Allah. <laughs> I opened a school for them, the fool. <laughs> and now they are teaching magic. So the guy divorced his wife and the wife she divorced her husband. I'm so happy. I'm so happy and so excited. So if you are a man, keep your word and denounce Allah. This is a fraud. And this is going to be from God. I mean, Jesus, he forbid the men and the women from breaking what is, uh, uh, you know, the agreement which is under God. Your God is doing the opposite. I mean, what, what is the benefit of this? God, he sent two angels. Angels! If angels are doing magic and teaching magic, so what the devil you do for a living? Now, so magic is true. This is the first thing you said is not true. It's true. Quran approved that. You cannot say to me, this is the Eve Quran. And even we sing it for you to make it more understandable. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Arab accusing the Muslims that they are a bunch of people and they're, and they're black magic. <clears throat> Actually here, that's not, not chapter 15, we want to go here. They accuse Muhammad to be a person of a black magic. Read carefully. When they hear you, which means Muhammad, when they listen to you, when they meet you in a private conference, behold, the wicked say, you follow none other than a man bewitched. Okay, so what the purpose of this verse? To say that Muhammad is not bewitched. The accusation, the accusation is that Muhammad is bewitched. The answer is, oh, this is a claim, this is not true. We go to Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari. Yum, yum, yum. Once the prophet was bewitched. Oh, 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 oh. The Quran said the prophet was not bewitched. The Arab, they say, Muhammad was bewitched. The Quran say you are wrong. This is a lie. He is not bewitched. And it doesn't matter how much they try, they cannot find a way to you. So Allah promised that this thing will never happen to you. And then we find Aisha getting Muhammad busted and saying Muhammad was bewitched. And look what Aisha, she support her statement with some evidence. So that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. So the prophet, he imagined that he'd done a thing in fact he did not. So how we can trust that Muhammad, he saw an angel? How we can trust that Muhammad, he did not see shaitan and shaitan is giving him the Quran. Actually the Quran confirmed that Muhammad received satanic verses. 
in the old days when somebody he loses mind he do something doesn't make sense in a way like he look healthy let us say physically but he do something crazy stupid so what people say he was bewitched you notice here that Aisha she did not just say the word bewitched she mentioned a behavior he began to imagine and she, she used the word imagine she didn't say he thought you know this in Arabic it says he imagined correct translation which is weird Muslims usually don't do that the second we agree that Muhammad he imagined doing things in fact he did not it's the same second we agree that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness all of us we knew that this bewitching thing is a garbage to believe in such a thing you have to be very naive but in the same time the Quran answered the accusation of the Arab when they say that Muhammad is a uh, under the magic Guys, one of the funny things, the Quran exposes itself. Look at this here. The Arab, the, how, how many times you heard the Muslim says the Arab they could not respond to Muhammad, the Arab they could not make Quran like that, like it's Muhammad, the Arab, the Arab, the Arab they were making fun of the Quran. Look at this. They say this is nothing but the fabulous tales of the ancient fairy tale stories. And then in the same page they say. He is nothing but a bewitched man, crazy man. So Muhammad, he challenged him to make a crazy book like his book. The Arab, they are saying to him, he's an idiot, stupid. And the Muslim, they say that Allah, he challenged them to make a verse like it. It's like saying, can be stupid more than me. The prophet, he was under bewitching. And he was imagining that he used to have sex, but in fact, he did not. This guy, even his sex was fake. Aisha, she said, who's Aisha? The wife, the most beloved child wife to Muhammad. The prophet continued for such and such a period. I hate the word period, man. Because if you take this word and you post it in Sahih Bukhari, you will find there's endless numbers of hadith about period. When I have my period, when I have my period, I mean, come on. I mean, make, there's a book actually, it's called the book of period. You don't believe me, I can't find it for you. Kitab al -Hayd. I mean, can you believe it? They have a book, it's called the book of women period. This is why Khomeini, he said to the Muslim Sunni, uh, you have, uh, <clears throat> you have what? You have uh, inflammation in the library of the private part. Read with me carefully. The book, Sahihul Bukhari, book of menstrual periods. Book of what? Oh boy. <clears throat> the Prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had slept. What? The Prophet he imagined that has slept. That's not good in English. And look what they tried to fix it with. He had sexual relationship. Ooh. Uh -huh. 
it's between two brackets. It's in Arabic. It says Yati ahlahu. I mean, how in the world Yati ahlahu became slipped? The Prophet slept. And then a second after, between two brackets, he was doing boom boom. Hmm. Like I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to deceive you. I will make correction, okay? He had intercourse. How in the world that Muhammad is a prophet? How we can trust that this person is seeing an angel? That cannot be true. And look, the one who is witnessing for what's happening is his wife, I. 